Good evening. My name is Shirley T. Burke, and I run a business called Esteem Institute. I work with and teach women on how to feel better in their business suit as well as their birthday suit. Thank you so much for tuning in this evening. Thank you so much. We're very glad that you're here. And um, I want to introduce my first guest, and her name is Christine D. Gregory, and she's the president and principal at Bredecker's Interior Effects. She's a principal designer. She, we have known each other for a couple of years, and she's going to talk to us tonight about colors. So just stay tuned, hang in here, and she's going to be here in just a second. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I and do understand. I do think at my gym, they've painted the walls um, in a lot of the rooms are gold and red. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that because it's, you know, like it's hard enough to get there. Right. And then if you get there and you're down and you see all these, like you say, the beige, it makes a difference. But I'm glad to hear there are other places that are yeah. putting the walls into a perspective. And it doesn't look so institutional when yes. you add some color Col to the space. That's it. That's it. It's more welcoming, I think. Right. I always call the place alive when I see colors. It's alive. And even using black in there, I thought was interesting. Well, black grounds a space, and a little mm. black in decorating is kind of one of those mm. rules. You add a little black to every room. Really? And it kind of... Can you talk a little bit more about that? Well, black is black's kind of a funny color, too, because it is classic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, if you think about the little black dress or tuxedo, yes, yes. Um, it's a classic thing, but it also can have very ominous connotations. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you talk, you think about death and yeah, right, you know, right. things like that. Halloween, um, so people... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you think about combinations in a room, um, and you're talking about a Halloween, and you usually do think of black and orange. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. And that's a symbolic combination of colors. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a warning combination of yeah, colors. A warning. Yes. And they're like traffic cones and things being orange. You yes, see them because yes. it, it is the loudest color. I hadn't thought that about orange. that either. Yeah. Um, but black is black's a really good color, like I said, to ground things. Mm -hmm. And so just adding a little bit of black can make things feel very classic. Ah. So we got black. We have um, red. Mm-hmm. We talked about beige. Talked a little bit about the spa colors. Oh, yes. Let's talk a little bit about yellow. Okay. Because mm. yellow, when I get calls from clients, yellow is the color that people have the most problem with. Really? They'll go to the paint store, they'll find this really bright, vibrant yellow, they'll paint their walls, and then they're just, really? <laughs> like they call me, they need sunglasses, they can't, <laughs> I've got a problem, please come. And so usually with the yellow room, you tend to think cake batter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where it's got its hint of yellow, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like a vanilla cake batter. Yeah, yeah. And then once you put it on the walls, it, it comes out a lot brighter, brighter. than mm. you think it will. That is interesting. But yellows are, are tricky, um, too. If you paint children's rooms yellow, mm -hmm. you shouldn't do that if your children have any sort of hypo okay. um, ac yes. hyperactivity yes. problems um, because it will stimulate them as well. And so nurseries and things like that, if you want your baby to sleep, that's no, really that not the best that's choice. Cool. So the mother picking her colors, she needs to be conscious of the stimulation right. for the child. And a lot of times people do a yellow because mm -hmm. it's if they don't know what the sex of a yes. baby is. Yes. So for a yellow yes. nursery, it's one of those neutrals, the yellows right. and greens. Yeah. Um, but they just need to be careful and think that through a little bit. Um, but that pale yellow color, if you think about legal pads and things oh, like yes. that, mm -hmm. it's good for offices because yellow does promote memory. So Really? Yellow promotes memory. Mm -hmm. that, oh. that legal pad legal yellow. Pad. <laughs> that legal pad <laughs> yellow. It's yellow for a reason. Us. And the yellow, usually with a black or dark blue ink against that, that contrast is easy yeah. to see. Yes, yeah. I'd never heard that before. I don't know whether you even shared that at, uh, mm -hmm. at the seminar. Yeah, and it's not it so promotes, glaring when yeah. you have the yellow legal pad versus a white legal pad yes. when you do. Mm. So color is really important. Orange, we talked about a little about little orange, orange with orange and black and the Halloween things. Um, but orange is one of those colors that is friendly. Mm -hmm. mm. It's kind of, you know, um, represents friendliness and also something that's inexpensive. Okay. So if you're looking for a color for your business and you don't want to have the image that you're 
cheap, yeah. <laughs> then orange may not be the best. And mm. a good example of that is Home Depot. Oh, Home yes, Depot's yes, logo oh is orange. God, yes, and yeah. they, they want to be friendly for, and welcoming to everybody, and also that it's affordable. And see, that's, that, yeah, because that whole place is orange. And they're using that on purpose. The on purpose. And that's why, I, that's why I thought it was a good topic um, to, to discuss for us to recognize that yeah, some of the decisions we are making has to do with the purposefully yes. being different colors. Oh, marketers around. use yeah. color very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you start to, if you know a little bit and start to pay attention, yes, then that's you the key. may realize what they're trying to do. Yeah. And those um, bright, true crayon box, reds, yellows, and oranges, they use in fast food restaurants. Yes, you eat more and buy more of it. Fresh and eat fast. Eat fast. Oh my Eat goodness. Fast, get out. What colors are those now? If you think of any McDonald's or Burger Kings, mm -hmm. those bright yellow, bright orange, mm -hmm. and sometimes a little red in there too, because we already talked yeah, about red yeah. makes you hungrier. Yeah. But red tends to make you linger in a space. space. But those bright neon colors, you'll eat more, you'll yeah. eat fast, you'll get out, and there'll be the seat available for the next person, person yeah. in the fast we'll food. We'll have to come in actually. That's leave. right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, I know you're an interior designer, but you also do some other things. You paint. I do watercolors. Well, yeah. And that's yeah. a lot to do with the colors that I, yeah. you know, knowing about colors and yeah. how colors work together, because mm -hmm. I painted my whole life. Paint your whole life. Wow. So do, you, now, how do people get in touch with you if they, because you sell paintings too, I think. Uh, I do sell paintings. I have not gotten my paintings on a site yet. Yeah, okay. That's coming. Yeah, but but it, I do have my paintings at my website, christinegregory.com. Christine Gregory. Okay. And it's Christine with a K. Christine with a K. Okay. Is there any, you know, they can look at, they can contact you by going to that website of yes. Bedeckers? Mm -hmm. okay. Or Bedeckers, oh, yes. Bedeckers. Give that mm -hmm. one too. Yeah, my company name is Bedeckers, and Bedeck means to decorate ornately, mm. to grace, or to adorn. Ah. And people always get that confused. They say, Bedeckers is your family German, and it's like, mm -hmm. no, it's Bedeck, like Deck the Hall. <laughs> yeah. And so it's um, B-E-D-E-C-K-E-R-S, and Bedeckers.com. Yeah, so I appreciate you coming tonight. Sure. And you please stay around. If people, I think we will get to calls maybe um, maybe after eight, hopefully people will think of some questions they might That'll have for, for you and what have you. So I appreciate you showing up tonight. Colors. Thank you. Girl. It's the important. Satire, it is, is important. Totally important. We're going to have a, we're going to have an intermission just for a few seconds and then we're going to bring our next guest. Great. Thank you so much, Christine, Thanks, for really. coming. Welcome back. Welcome back. We have our next guest, and this young man's name is Jason. And Jason, say your whole name. Uh, it's Jason Andrew Wright. Jason Andrew Wright. That's and when I wrote to you, I put S-U-N. So what does that mean? Well, that's... <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I feel like in the past few years of my life, I've kind of gone through some transformations. Uh -huh. and 
And uh, I don't know, people call me Jay or Son mm -hmm. for years, and yeah. Son's just simpler. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. We met at Christine's uh, seminar, and mm -hmm. we were having conversation. And you made a comment about being a researcher, and we were talking about all hammers. Could you kind of go into what you've been doing? Sure. And then we can all talk about your movie stuff, too. Oh, later. well, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, so I got, uh, well, unfortunately, I guess I got interested in Alzheimer's research because my stepfather um, was diagnosed about 12 years ago. 12 years, okay. And uh, I mean, they, they called it early onset at that point, and that's becoming a more popular term these days. Yeah, but yeah. Um, uh, you know, that was a pretty scary thing. I'm, I'm 30 years old now, and so I guess I was, would have been 18 at the time. Mm, wow. <clears throat> and to find that news out was, uh, you know, not good because there's not like there's a cure running right, around right, out there, that right. at least that anyone's talking, talking about. about it. Yep, I understand. So, that is so interesting you say that. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting you say that because a lot of this stuff is a lot of money attached to it. Absolutely. I'm telling you, I know. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, the. However much money is being put into it, ain't getting any results, at least to this point, yeah. that are being put out there. But you go digging, you can you can find some ways to, uh, well, I don't want to say cure because that's a big word. That's that a big word, but you can you make a difference. Make a difference, okay. absolutely. Okay. Have have an impact mm -hmm. um, for anyone. So. So my background with that as well is I, I've worked a lot as a, um, uh, a, a caregiver, like mm -hmm. doing in-home health care. Right, right, right. And mostly working with older people, uh, dementia cases, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And through my research uh, and through trial and error, found that one of the simplest, most profound, powerful ways to help alleviate some of these symptoms is through the food that you eat. I swear. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Is that... Have we heard that before? Right. You know, eat, eat more yeah. fruits and vegetables. Yeah. You know, you hear it, but you don't do it. It doesn't sound, yes, and you it know? doesn't sound like it would make a difference. But when you have the right motivation, you're inspired, you yeah. take action. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So for myself, that's why I applied, uh, applied myself to looking up everything I could find about it. Mm -hmm. what, what mm -hmm. kind of research is being done out there? You know, even just the, the trials that were being offered that are not about just a drug. Yes. They're about something that's more available to right, people. Right, and right. Uh, and raw food. Raw food. Raw food. When you say raw, t talk about that a little bit because I have a, um, sure. there's a, um, oh boy, acupuncturist that I know. Yeah. She does that. Uh, she does classes with yeah. the raw food. I, I, I can't Debbie remember Fa her name. Debbie Fawley. Yes. Uh, Debbie yes. Fawley. Yeah, she does that. So I, sure. I would like to hear, can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Well, um, I started uh, becoming more familiar with it a few years ago, I went through my own transformation. Um, two years ago at this time, I weighed about 200 pounds. And, um, and how I, tall are you? Pardon? How tall are you? Uh, like five, six. Okay, okay. So that's not a healthy combo. Yeah, you know, it was not a good feeling, especially when, you know, uh, I have I have an eight-year-old child, you well, know, that, I, yeah, that I'm raising yeah. and it requires energy. <laughs> Tell me, yeah. eight years old, he's not one of those little young children. As he say, a friend of mine had a son that he was nine, so his child went through the terrible twos that he was nine. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm lucky. I have a good child. I have a, yeah, that's she, good. This was wonderful. That's but great. but uh, the, the, the energy good. involved uh, uh, with that, you know, so you think about, you think about food. Yes. What is food? Mm -hmm. When you get into the questions of breaking this stuff down and defining it, food is something that gives you energy. Energy, yes. And in the form of what we take it as, you know, fruits or vegetables or meats or eggs or whatever yeah, form you yeah, get it in. Yeah. Um, you want to find the food that has the highest amount of energy in it. Okay. okay. For your body. Highest amount of energy. Right. Okay. For your mind, for your body. And I didn't know much about it until a few years ago. Mm. I started going towards, uh, I, I gave up meat. Okay. That was my first thing. Okay. Okay. I gave up eating meat because the research was showing me that uh, basically anything that's cooked, like you think about animals in the wild yeah. that eat meat, mm -hmm. they're eating raw meat. Yes. Oh, yeah. And that there's a big sense. difference. Yes. You yeah. think about even if you're eating cooked chicken as a, a, a for protein mm -hmm. or, or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, the the value in it's 
cooked out. Yes. It's yes. It's decreased. It's it, yeah. it's it, you know it's minimal. It's minimal yeah. at best. I mean, steaming you know some some broccoli and carrots stuff like that. It will maintain more of the nutrients. Yeah. yeah. But the bottom line is, we're the only creatures on this planet that cook food. They cook food. And that is something. We look around and see what's going on with all the health epidemics, yeah, yeah, all yeah. the crazy diseases, yeah. all of it. Something new every day. And and there's a correlation yeah. there. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a correlation there. So, um, you know, for anyone watching this that 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 is either at a weight that they don't feel good about, uh, a physical feeling that they've been dealing with for a long time. Uh, mental ones as well, emotional ones as well. I experienced a lot of uh, emotional and kind of stuff that I had. My father passed away when I was uh, when I was four years old, mm. and that kind of never having that around, yeah. you know, yes, thing yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, was with me for years. And uh, what was strange was as I got more into raw foods and was losing weight, um, I was also losing. Uh, I noticed that I wasn't. I uh, didn't have the same you know attachment yes to yes. to you know tra traumatic things that yeah. it, you know whatever it happened that, before that's now that's really interesting yeah yeah it, that I mean, is really interesting the loss of the mental state sure the negative mental state because sure. of the change in your eating habits absolutely as, you know as, i don't know what i've heard that discussed like that i've heard everything else discussed right but not that not that well, I got some different things to say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> something different. <laughs> yeah, I got that's why you're here. <laughs> that's why you're here. And the, and the thing is, this is, uh, you know, it, may, it might be different, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's, it's there. Yeah, yes. It's yeah. there nonetheless. Yes, yes. And it's, it's very real. Um, I weigh 140 pounds. Wow, from two. From, yeah. from 200. And I did, I didn't starve myself. I actually ate more food. food. That's what, you know, because, that's, yes. Because it's raw food. Yeah. And um, you can eat, that's the beauty of it. You can eat more oh, of fuck. it. Ah. You can eat more what, of it. What type of raw foods do you eat? All right, so, so my, daily, my daily kind of routine is this. Uh, I get up in the morning, I have a glass of lemon water. Lemon water. Lemon Somebody water. Somebody talked about that yesterday. It, it's, <laughs> it's super easy, you know, you get a glass of water. I recommend spring water. Spring water. Okay. Spring water for sure. And I, 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 I tried them all out. Yeah, okay. Spring water yeah, is the only yeah. one that if you were in a natural setting to get water, that's where you'd get it from. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so it's kind of intelligent design or whatever. <laughs> and and um, so a glass of lemon water. But as far as the foods go, uh, I then make a smoothie. And mm. it's, it's, re it's really simple. Two bananas, half an avocado. Uh, half a cup of blueberries, mm. some coconut water, uh, and, and the real secret is bee pollen. Bee pollen. Bee pollen, which sounds crazy. I used to do bee honey. Bee pollen. Here's honey. Honey's awesome. Mm -hmm. Tastes great, right? Mm -hmm. Bee pollen is on a whole other level really? as far as energy is concerned. Really? And bee pollen is the complete protein for the human body. So you put the pollen in every morning. You start, I, that's your energy drink. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm buzzing like a bee. And I, <laughs> I, I'm telling you what, it, it's, it's, it's sustainable. Mm. You think about you have a cup of coffee or you have an energy drink or five hours, yeah. you have one of those. Yeah, yeah. You're going to feel a little jittery and it, it ain't going to last, yes, yeah, you know? Yeah. That's why they got it sitting right there at the counter where you can oh, yeah. forgot it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, even if it says organic or anything like that, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it's still something that's kind of messed with. But anyway, so all of this is whole foods. Whole foods. That, 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 that I'm taking in. So during the daytime, I start out with, with a smoothie that fills me up, that gives me energy. Uh, lunchtime is usually some fruit mm -hmm. um, or salad. And dinner time, and when you start to make that your routine, breakfast and lunch are the two meals yeah, you have the most, most control over. Mm -hmm. Dinner is such a social thing. Yeah, it's yes, so it open to yep. you know yeah, other people's yeah, tastes yes. and <laughs> places and yes, true. You true. know, so um, so breakfast and lunch to me that that was what gave me a good footing mm -hmm. to start making the right decisions for my body. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes down to it, and the other part of what I specialize in is asking questions. Asking questions. Yeah. And you ask the right questions, you get the right, right answers. Answer. 
Now, and does your child eat the same way? Uh, very, very close. Yes, very, clo okay, very close. Okay. Um, we, you know, and there's there's fun ways of eating raw food. People think raw food. I mean, years ago, I thought it was like harmful. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you, you can't eat a raw potato or <laughs> you know stuff like that. Yeah, it's not I, talked about. I went to my friend's house and she had uh, raw string beans. Yeah, as in we were dipping it in. Yeah. Some, I just. You know, I didn't think you could do that. It had to be right. cooked. It's just right. crazy thought. That's a crazy. You I can eat them. Yeah, it's because we're that's what we're growing up to, yes. to think is okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, until yeah. till you till you go asking some questions. You know, that if is there something different? Is there a way to to eat that's that's going to give me energy, make me feel good, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. give me mental clarity, maybe alleviate some diseases? Some well, yeah. You know. I saw a film at, uh, it was when the rack was open and they had movies, uh, educational type movies on a Friday night, mm -hmm. uh, where this group of people, I forgot how many, they went to this Pacific place, changed their diets, and th in 30 days they didn't have needed insulin. I, what's the name of that? You know the it, name of that It's film? a raw food documentary. Yes, um, yes. The, uh, yeah. It's Gabriel Cousins. I need to write Gabriel. Gabriel Cousins uh, has a retreat center, I believe, in, in Arizona. But I, I've, Yeah, I, they showed that in... 30 days. Yeah. And, you know, and all of them, everybody did what they were told. In 30 days, they, they, sh they didn't have to take insulin. It's, it's, it's powerful. I mean, that's, that's the power. That's really, that's the power of, of, of raw food. Changing food. Changing yeah, of, food, yeah. Of making that transformation. Yeah. And so, so, uh, so part of that is that, for me, there was a learning process. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, it wasn't just, okay, I'm giving up meat, that's it, yeah, yeah, you know, it's yeah. a lot more involved in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the best way to do it is to plan it out. Okay, this week, I'm, gonna, um, I'm only going to allow myself to have three or four of those kind of cooked meals, that mm -hmm. you, you know, yeah, like yeah, fried chicken yeah, or yeah. pizza or something yeah. like that. Like, mm -hmm. you pick a few days of the week and you'll be like, okay, those are the times. And then, then you'll have some anticipation. You'll have that yeah. day where you're... You're you're doing all raw food, or you're you know you're you're doing all vegetables or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, and I guarantee you're gonna sleep better. One. Oh my goodness, sleep better too. Sleep better. Oh my goodness, wake you up, got all the answers, fresh. man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Tell, you know, before before we get too far, I sure. want to remember to ask you yes. the status of your stepfather and how it is, what you're talking about. Sure. Changed him. Sure. Sure. Him. Um, so over the past couple of years, um, we started uh, doing more. I got a juicer. Mm -hmm. uh, started started doing more with juicing. Um, he's also got arthritis. Uh, ver I mean, very bad in his hands. Uh, he was a bricklayer, carpenter oh, most yes, of his life. Yes, I've seen, you know, I've so sat and, yeah. you know, people out there that work construction or that do. I mean, we all have to work with our hands. Yeah, yes, period. But yeah. you know, those that are suffering with arthritis, not just the hands but anywhere, mm -hmm. can benefit from things like like juicing, juicing greens, really stuff juicing like greens. stuff like celery. Um, Celery and it's it's cheap and in abundance. Yeah. Uh, celery and beets and I mean you can go go you can go look it up. That's the whole thing. You, you mm -hmm. know you ask a question. Type in Google. Really? <laughs> beautiful thing. That, oh my you know? goodness. What what juices you know will mm -hmm. have this effect? What mm -hmm. juices will? So when the book coming out? Well, the book the book is coming out uh, the end of the spring. You're kidding. The book is coming out. Okay. Tell them your name again. My name is. <laughs> My name is Jason Andrew Wright, or or Son Wright. Yeah, are oh, you gonna use all that name so we can find it? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> okay. use I use that yeah. name, and I'll have a uh, I have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's youtube.com backslash Old Virginie V I R G I N I E. E. Okay. I have it. I don't have any of this information on there yet, okay, but, but I do have a video I made about EFT, okay. which I think we... Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Which was e yes. a great... Emotional... Emotional freedom technique. Yes, I believe in that because that's, yeah. It's, it was a great way. It really helped me to transition because of the statement, even though. So my statement in the yeah. beginning to make this transformation, and anybody watching this can do this, even though I love... Pizza, <laughs> chicken wings, meatloaf, chicken wings, meatballs, yeah. uh, sushi, you name it. Even though I love the taste of that stuff, I'm now choosing to eat what's right for my body, body. Mm -hmm. choosing what's going to make me feel better, have more energy, have more clarity, to make more money, to do better at my job, yeah. to be a better, you name it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And you have, and your fa uh, stepfather has been consistently hanging in there with the change oh, oh, you made. I mean, it's it's been twelve years, you know. And he's he he recently had back surgery, and uh, 
you know, he's recovering very well from that. Mm -hmm. we, we, did, um, we did some experiment with, um, I say experiment, but just change, change mm -hmm. of, uh, with coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil is its own, you can do everything with it. Really? You can use it as a mouthwash, antiseptic, antifungal. And all of this you Google. And it's all available. It's all that there. Is, that is something. But you have to have the inspiration. Prefer, yeah, but we prefer to have you consolidated in. Yes, so absolutely. Because so <laughs> it's taken a lot of time uh, to, to that's, sort through this. Yes, and, uh, yes. So, yeah, I'm all about making it simple. Well, I, we know. have another guest, but what I want to do before yeah. we bring her on is for sure. you to share how you have been able to mentally, one way you have been able to mentally deal with all this stuff. Don't you do a little acting or something? Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Tell them a little bit about that then, then before we go. And For then, sure. Then if you have a, if you want them to get in touch with you or give them a way to get in touch with you, that'll be fine. Sure, so, absolutely. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank okay. you for the opportunity. Um, yeah, so um, in my spare time, I, I, <laughs> I also uh, pursue acting. Um, I recently uh, played a uh, recurring background part on the new AMC show, uh, Turn, which, which was filmed here in Richmond. All um, right, all right. Uh, beginning of last, uh, part of last year uh, up until last week. Awesome. And um, my experience with that was, it was tremendous. I think it's a great thing that they're getting better, bigger productions here in Richmond. Yeah, yeah, um, and giving local people an opportunity. I think I've got, absolutely a lot of people got it in Lincoln I knew. Yeah, and yeah. well, uh, there's one sitting right here too. Really awesome, yeah. awesome, yeah. you're that, in Lincoln. And if it wasn't for that coming here, that uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't have opened other doors. Um, that, you know, you but know. I often wonder why, how pe some people uh, have the nerve to go try, because yeah. it, it seemed like those, and if some individuals wouldn't even be thinking about it, but I have a friend that, he pay, played several parts in Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's and that's the beauty of it is that uh, you know getting into it as a background actor. Yeah, um, you you get to see what a set's Sunset. like. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, like I'm I'm a little excited to be here yeah. for sure. Yeah, but I'm not nervous about the camera. Yeah, because uh, you know you, you you get used you get, to get them. Get used to it. like I said, people you know? get upset. I uh, said, oh, I said, look, we just having a conversation. People just looking in. That's all. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank nice. you for looking into our conversation. Yes. It's yes. Most yeah, enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah. And do you have contact? Any contact? Yes. If you yes. Want to get um, my email is uh, Jason J A S O N period A N D period right W R I G H T at gmail dot com. Jason dot and dot right at gmail. The ands. For the Andrew. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much for coming today. And what's going to happen? We will have another guest, and hopefully, we we going to take a break right now. And then uh, when we come back, we're going to bring all the guests on, just in case people want to call in. Right on. Thank you so much, Jason, for coming, and I appreciate your information. Thank you. And um, I'm glad you shared it the night we met, because somebody out there need to hear what you just said, personally hey. as well as maybe for a loved one. Sure, absolutely. All right. Pleasure. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. My next guest is Dr. Deborah West. Hello, hey, Shirley T. <laughs> Hi, it's so good doing? to be here. Yes, yes, yes. We did this on the radio a few weeks back, 
And um, right. I know I know you from the gym, right? That's how we first oh, met. Oh yes, we but, met we met at the gym, mm -hmm. and and I was reflecting about your classes and how sore I always was <laughs> after your classes. I, I, I'm not as sore after other exactly. classes, ahead, but exactly. yours in particular, and it's, it's like, not, oh. Yeah, you don't know that that's gonna happen either. Not exactly. The way we go to the classes are yeah, surprised. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, um, you know, one of the things, we've always talked after class a little bit in life. Right, this, and then right. I um, saw where you became a Fulbright scholar. Yes, and yes, right. And international right. relations and stuff like this. And right. My thing was, how do we get that relationship here in America? How do we use the same principle? But tell us about that first. Tell us about the, the, what you did with the Fulbright and what that's all about. And sure, sure. Going to sure. Chile. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, okay. thank you. Um, yes, I spent four and a half months in Chile. I was at the University of Chile in Santiago. And um, in order to apply, I had to have some kind of a project. Mm. And, um, and my initial project was to teach global human resources global. development. Mm -hmm. Global, how do we uh, teach inclusion, international leadership skills. And then also, um, I worked a lot on competencies for professors. Ah. How, my background's in adult ed, and so mm -hmm. how do we make professors better professors oh that's and see how what i'm can, saying but yes. bringing that to america too <laughs> that whole thing that whole thing of inclusion, inclusion and um and also i was there to be a cultural ambassador and share who i was how i could help and most importantly though i was there <clears throat> to learn um from my colleagues yes. mm -hmm. and what could I learn that I could bring back here mm -hmm. and not just academically yes, yes. socially mm -hmm. emotionally spiritually mm -hmm. the whole picture yep. of um, the beauty and the gift of having the opportunity to spend time in okay. another culture yeah. what did you bring back oh wow um, well globally I think I brought back a lot of love and less judgment. Ah, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> say that again. Yeah. Globally, I think um, for me, mm -hmm. I brought back, I hope, um, more love and less judgment. It's hard. Yeah, it it's is tough. hard because. Um, there's always the first thought where my mind could go to the negative mm -hmm. and then the positive. But just um, seeing a lot of the things that happen, the remnants of the dictatorship, mm. the Pinochet era, which um, was from 1973 to 1989 and a lot of protests, I thought, wow, you know, our world le needs a lot of love and peace. peace. Yeah, peace. Yeah. And and let's stay calm and let's listen to each other. Mm -hmm. And let's build commonalities. Let's also look at our differences. Yes. Celebrate our differences and then how can we look at our commonalities and understand, understand. each other? See, that's can you understand why I say can you bring that home in the middle of Richmond VA or Goose Line? And relate that same thing to those of us here, just among each other. You know, yes. we need what you were doing there. That's my whole point. So that's 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 why I appreciate talking with you because the things that you talk about are the same things we as Americans need to do with each other. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That's yes. that's what that's when when you shared what you did. That's the first thing came to mind that we need that here in America, uh, like in our own homes and hometowns and stuff, just in a small arena and spread it out. It's true. Yeah. So so you that, and and that's that's that will happen because right. of what you've gone through and what you bring back. Because I I was interested in what you told me about the um, just like you said people asking. Uh, with the students that come over here from other countries, and they will say, oh, "Well, let's have lunch." Tell us, make you know that story you told me. You, people say, "Let's have lunch," and how that? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Well, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking more of the social aspect. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, um, so one of the things is um, when 
I went abroad, I, the first thing I picked up on, and this was a, a cultural difference, mm -hmm. and I thought, how could I bring this back, is um, not when somebody comes to your home, and I think this is what we're referring to, mm -hmm. somebody comes to your home and says, um, not how are you, sit down, mm -hmm. and, and okay, sit down, and then what can I get you? And then we talk, mm -hmm. and we talk, and there's no end time. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, because the business gets done, the work gets the done, but the emphasis is on building the, the relationship. relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and let's not jump in and, and start the meeting or whatever it is. It's okay, let's talk. and get to know each other. And that's what that's, you found there? Yes. That's what you found yes. there? That yes. Unlike you say, okay, you know, get the gavel and say it's time for the meeting to start, <laughs> stuff like this. Uh, that's not what you found. Yes. But yes. They, they tried to foster a relationship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you also told me about, I think it was something that you uh, were saying about, we would say, you know, oh, let's meet for lunch. Um, so you know oh, what I'm saying? Right, the, right, the, the right, cultural right, thing right, right. and put that understanding right, of versus right. what we say all the time oh, and right, never right, do it. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah. Yes, but yes, what you yes, told uh, me just now ties right into that. Right, right, There's right. A let's, thing. Um, a lot of things happen spontaneously. Mm -hmm. What are you? Well, let's go now. Let's meet. Let's mm -hmm. talk. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, and I know what we're getting at, is, mm -hmm. is um, when I did my dissertation research, my focus was on social support mm -hmm. of international yes, yes. students and who helps them. Yes. Who yes. helps them be successful. Over here. And correct. Oh, okay, okay. Correct. So an international student comes from India, Africa, or China, and one of the disappointments they found about Americans, and now I remember okay. what we're getting yeah. at is... But all of, all of what you right, said adds right. to it. Is, um, oh, yes, yes, we'll have lunch sometime and we'll call. And then what happens is um, the international is, has the expectation of, oh, okay, that's going to happen waits and it never happens. happens. It's just and something then, we say here in America. It, exactly. So just a yes, part of the yes, conversation yes, with no that's intention. That's true. And we don't right. do it, we're not necessarily doing for malice, but that's how it can be uh, taken by the individual that's told that. Right, yes, right, understand. right. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll call you yeah. and I'll, and then, and then it leads to disappointment. Okay. So one of the things I learned from my dissertation research is if I say, um, yes, I, I'd like to, okay, let's get our calendars now. Mm -hmm, yeah, do it. Let's it. get our calendars, let's look at it, let's look and, and let's set a time and negotiate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I know um, empathy is something I need to work on. Mm -hmm. And, and it, for me, it's a lifetime, yeah, a us. lifetime, um, Lifetime work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. It is. I think most of the soft skills, people talk about soft skills, but it's not soft. It's, it's not easy to do a lot of the things that, uh, that brings about good relationships. It's not easy a lot of times. To, no, to do those no, things. Right, like you said, right, empathy right, and right. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not a totally uh, automatic. Right. Yeah. It, it is something... Um, that can be learned. Yes, yes. And at the same time, it takes commitment and discipline. You got to care enough to care. Exactly. <laughs> like I, I had the opportunity today to work with some Hispanic students on um, at Elkhart Middle School on motivation, mm -hmm. and this ties in this whole thing about empathy. It's attitudinal motivation. motivation. We're not talking about um, motivation for basic <laughs> human needs, but we're talking, okay, I care enough about myself, my value, therefore care about your, your value. value. How can I my, change my attitude and work on empathy and um, help other cultures not only look at commonalities, 
but look at differences mm -hmm. and not not so much minimization to go along to get along yeah but how can we build toward inclusion and because, diversity because you know that's one of the things too that you know and, and I think we've talked about this before where we used to say you know you treat other people like you want to be treated but I don't we can't do that across the board as we used to could because people are different the cultures are different right you know like people right. don't people you know some cultures don't like to be praised in public you know some yes. people are not emotionally yes. you know the hug you know we're huggers or somebody right you know, some right, cultures right. don't exactly. do that so you have yes. to but you have to yes. care enough to find that out mm -hmm. to exactly. know that you know like and not get upset because they're not doing what we are accustomed to doing but it's their culture Right, it's, it's their culture. It's you know. I always think about the example of the one of our president that gave that gift of the boots and had painted a picture on the bottom of the boots. Oh my and, goodness! And he gave it to somebody. And to that culture, it was the same as giving a finger to show oh, the soles of your feet. Yes. And and then yes. to paint something on it, you know, like yes. most of us don't know that. I mean, right. the intent was good. Right. But we didn't know enough about that culture to know that it was offensive. Right. And that's what you took here. Yes, this is what yes, you deal, that's what yes. you deal with. Yeah. Yes, and I actually today I just read an article from the Harvard Business Review, and you know it's great how um, spirit, my higher power, yeah. God works yeah. because I'm preparing for this show and I see this article on LinkedIn and the Harvard Business Review on different ways of thinking, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it was all um, related to cross-cultural competencies. Talking. Yeah. For instance, um, in our culture, Americans will take a photograph generally, and and even now this uh, awakened me to look at Facebook. It's a lot of selfies. Yes. You I, know, everybody in those. the selfies and <laughs> yeah. my face and yeah. my. Whereas um, in Japan, if they take a photograph, it's not the whole person, but let's look at these orchids here. Mm -hmm. Let's look at these bottles of water. Yeah. Let's look at the whole, oh. so it's thinking more holistically, holistically. And knowing that about the culture can make a lot of difference yeah, in global human resources, course, yes. international leadership, yep. multicultural team building, yep, yep. Um, and not just, okay, let's look at the differences here and how can these differences be of value. Thank you. Yes, yes, <laughs> totally, totally. And it's, again, it comes right back, we need the same thing here with each other. Yes, we need to say it's thing. true. Yeah, we can practice on each other to help with the with the uh, multi uh, cultural situation. We need some practice here on each other. <laughs> That's why Ex we don't do too well when foreigners come. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. And and what I'm learning too is there are so many facets to culture. Yeah, it's yeah. not. I mean, we're talking American, but for instance, I'm from Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh has its own, own cultural culture. norms. I've yep. been here 25 years. Um, yes, I'd like to think I've adapted. <laughs> I can empathize. Yep. I can empathize with them. Um, but there are some different norms. And when I first moved here, people asked me about my accent. Mm. I'm only six hours north of yep, here. Yeah. But again, 25 years. In Richmond, so so yeah. culture is a lot. Yep. We're talking socioeconomic yep. class, yep. upbringing, parts of you know what we inherited. Right. Yep. So there, there's just so many facets. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> and evidently, you're an individual who finds it fascinating to work with this. I yes, and and. I, I'd like to do better, and um, I'd like to, yes, I do. Um, I want to eliminate my own polarization. But you do and that by doing, being in the middle of it and working with it. Exactly. Not sitting at home, but exactly. getting out there, you know. Right, and, right, and right. remembering what you learned in Chile. Chile. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right, so I right. I know what she talked about, I know about Chile. <laughs> But that's but that's how you do it. You have to get out there in the mist 
and intermingle with people in order to do that. You can't sit in isolation to do it. It no, is, you no, not set a nice no, to do it. No, 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 exactly. And and there are the the gift is uh, there are so many opportunities yeah, in Richmond yeah, to yeah, do that. Yeah, yes. Well, yes. if people want to to uh, I guess you speak and um, you you can can provide information. If somebody want to get in touch with you about some of this, how would they do that? Um, there are several ways. Yeah. Uh, I have a LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a Facebook page, okay. and um, I have. That's probably the the, the best way. Okay, looking so, at so at, give your name again and spell it so that they know how to look you up on Facebook. It's and, de LinkedIn. and LinkedIn, and I also am on Twitter too. Okay. okay. Um, it and my Twitter handle is Deborah Deborah with an H. Deborah with an H. And it's um, Deborah Weston mm -hmm. W E S T I N. Okay. Yes. And um, uh, you and you were looking for work at one point. I don't know whether you just you're doing this individual and working for yourself, or you still working want to do that international types thing. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'd like to, and okay. I I'm in. Um, Networking a lot okay. and reaching out and and willing to speak to groups and okay. and open to a lot of possibilities. Okay, great, great. <laughs> We're gonna take the last break so we can bring everybody back on online okay. and invite people to call in if they have questions or comments. We would love for you to do so. We're just gonna take a couple of seconds and bring everybody on back on um, on stage. Okay. Thank you so much for coming thank tonight, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley thank you. T. It's thank always you. a pleasure always. to connect yep. with you. Thank yep. you. We'll be back on the radio at some point too. We want to let them to know we'll be back on the first Wednesday of uh, of the month Welcome at some back. point. We okay. have everybody on stage, and if you want to call in, the number is 804-915-5202. And I know you all remember everything that people talked about. Maybe not everything, but you might have some questions. If you do, feel free to to call in. We have a few, only a few minutes to, to talk. And I am tickled to death at that because it went by so fast. Yes. And there's a lot of information. Each one of you had pertinent information for the group out there. And that raw food man over there is. <laughs> 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 Deborah saying that you can't eat no chocolate no more. <laughs> he did not say that. <laughs> he, he, with three women yeah. sitting up here, I know he had better than <laughs> <to> say that. <laughs> Well, huh? Your chocolate's still good. Your chocolate's the, the right kind. What kind? What well, kind? Uh, I actually make a, uh, a you make a it chocolate smoothie. You okay. freeze freeze like two or three bananas. Uh, you can go to Elwood Thompson, Good Foods, Whole Foods, and those places, and you can get the uh, carob uh, Car uh, the, the cocoa pa powder. Cocoa and, powder. Yeah. It's, yes. And, and it's raw, and it it's uh, with the with the banana. I mean, it's a little more bitter. The chocolate's more bitter because it doesn't have the sweeteners added to it that you right. get from the candy bars and other stuff. Right. But the bananas sweeten it up. And, yes. Uh, so it's like a yes. chocolate shake, and I yeah. I, they're lovely. Ooh, that sounds wow. like that sounds like a really good, good lunch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Christine does uh, shakes and stuff too. Because she's been trying to convince me by putting some stuff in the thing. I, I think I'm going for that because some days you don't want to be chewing. Yeah. People don't believe that, I but got you know. A blender that will do the whole almonds. You got the Vitamix. Well, oh yeah, I got I I have one. Ninja. Or ninja. Yes, yeah, ninjas, yeah, ninjas are great. You put a whole handful of whole almonds in, and it just grinds them up to butter. Butter, yeah, <laughs> sounds wow. good. Sounds great. Y'all want to give you contact information again because I know we we got maybe one or two more minutes. Give you contact information if uh, that um, so people can contact you if they have questions or comments. Uh, uh, again, I'm Jason Wright, and uh, you can reach me at Jason at gmail .com, YouTube. Uh, Old Virginia. Um, you spell that? Uh, o L D V I R G I N I E. N I E. Old Virginia. Mm -hmm. All right. And you, Christine? Well, my interior design website is www.thedeckers, B E D E C K E R S dot com. Awesome. All right, Deborah. I'm Deborah Weston, and it's Deborah West. D E B O R A H W E S T I N at gmail.com. Okay. And uh, also on uh, LinkedIn, my Twitter handle is at Deborah Weston. 
Thank you. And that Deborah is spelled a biblical way, isn't it? Yes. yes <laughs> I always, right. whenever I hear people <laughs> uh, yes. say that, uh, spell it like that, I always think about that. Yes. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank I appreciate it so Thank much. You. The was information fun. was so good. Thank and you. You have to let us know about your book so that we can talk about it when it comes out. Yes, absolutely. Or, just, or you oh, put yes. it up. Make sure you put yeah. it up on everything that you've told people how to get to your address. Oh yeah. And we will leave by saying, "Blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be bent out of shape." Yes. <laughs> 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 right. Right. Right.